Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. One of the biggest changes to Windows Mobile 6.1 was the addition of this sliding panel interface that they added to non-touch screen devices like the Blackjack, the Blackjack 2, uh, the Motorola Q9H. And it was really great because it kind of brought out all of the, the uh, programs and the functions that you would do on your device and have to dig through the start menu and put it right on your main screen. So from here you can check if you have new voicemail, new messages, you can see your next appointment, you can set up email, uh, work with uh, songs and messaging, look at photos, and change your profile right from one screen and it was fantastic and one of the biggest complaints was that Microsoft didn't bring this to uh, touch screen devices well there's a company called SHBT out of Hungary that has created an interface for touch screen devices that is very similar to the sliding panel interface that is on Windows Mobile 6.1 standard and I'm going to show it to you now okay so let me take you through this and I should mention that this will work on any Windows Mobile touch screen device as long as you have a QVGA or VGA screen so it won't work on the Xperia X1 or a device like the LG Insight or Samsung Omnia so anyway we've basically two elements here. We have the Windows Mobile 6.1 sliding panel uh, interface and then we have the kind of Windows Mobile 7 leak screenshot look down here. This is what it looked like in the leak screenshots of 7. And let me take you through this. So we, we start at the top here and we have it says home panel. It has my name, uh, the date, and the time. If I go to the right I get the weather panel and if I click inward on the weather panel I'll get kind of an extended uh, forecast kind of thing and this weather panel is actually an extra that you have to pay for so um, it's, it's about five euros which comes out to about eight or nine dollars so it may not be worth it to you to have that uh, we go over to the right and we have the media player so we can kinda watch the tracks that we're playing if we go down one level we have the same notification area that we had in uh, Windows Mobile 6.1 standard but unfortunately I can't just tap right onto Outlook it just goes right to that panel or that uh, the sliding panel so I can go to the right and I can see any voice messages I have or text messages or Outlook email of course I have none of that I can go down and we have the same exact appointment uh, panel that we do on the standard devices so we have next appointment here tapping on this will take me to the calendar and if I close out of that I'll go back into there and if we go to the right we can make a new appointment I'm going down here we can change the profile and you actually get into a different interface that's custom to this program uh, we can uh, turn on vibrate or normal we can actually turn the backlight on or off to save power uh, we can soft reset right from here so a nice little addition and if we filter to the right we see wireless manager Bluetooth is off Wi-Fi is on um, ringtone we can change the ringtone theme settings and this is actually a little bit unique because this is kind of the, the, the settings for the program so we can determine whether there is a left soft key or a right soft key if we actually go back to the today screen so let me go back to the today screen I left it blank here um, just so it wouldn't hog up memory and here are the two soft keys that I've set for uh, the program and here we are back in there if I go to options I can change the theme to a variety of colors or they actually have different skins that you can get from the website and there are some other things here like uh, click events and and uh, some some more advanced things that you can play with so I'm gonna go to close here and I don't want to save the changes and I'll go back into the interface okay so let's continue downward if we go to the uh, bottom most section we get kind of a program launcher and we can uh, click on photo it'll take us to our camera um, settings will go right into settings and so on and so forth If we get all the way to the bottom if we press on this center button we actually open the start menu which is pretty convenient um, if we press exit we're back into the standard Windows mobile interface and if we press on my home we get back into that and one final thing to note, what happens when we slide open the keyboard on the Touch Pro? Well, it doesn't really work too well. It doesn't scale to landscape, unfortunately. But I really think that this is made to be used with, uh, of course it's all messed up right now, it's made to be used with one hand. Um, if you're walking down the street and you want to quickly access your messaging, you kind of use the D-pad with one hand. They don't expect you to use both hands and open it up like so. I think that's kind of the premise behind my home. So what do I think of this? Well, it doesn't have the robustness of SBB Mobile Shell. So it doesn't give you access to internet favorites and uh, multiple programs. It's not as customizable, nearly as customizable as SBB Mobile Shell. But again, as I've been emphasizing through, through this video, uh, I think this is a really good solution for those who want some one-handed usability back in Windows Mobile touchscreen. Um, you can do everything pretty much from the D-pad and you can see your, your missed calls and your missed messages and, and your next appointment really quite easily from this pretty intuitive interface. Um, 
but again, it's $26, and that may not be worth it to you. So that's it for now on My Home from SHBT. I'll post links on pocketnow.com on how to get it. That's it for now.